So, I mean, you 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 may have heard Bing being touted as sort of the decision engine, you right? Know? And, and and what that's all about is us trying to uh, to create a search engine and a search experience where we do all the work instead of you as a consumer doing all the work. Okay. So, you know, we have all this information out there and so we want to sort of make it as useful for you as possible instead of you, you know, clicking back and forth and, 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 and wasting your time and energy. Okay, so, so tell me about like how that's different from what people are used to because when they hear decision engine, yeah. like, well, you know, what does that really mean? Yeah, let me show you, let me show you an example. Okay. Uh, so let, let's, let's say that you flew in here from, uh, from Seattle. Seattle. Okay, let's yeah. say, let's, let's look at flights. So, you know, a regular search engine would give you something, you know, a sponsor links over here and some organic results right over here. Mm -hmm. But, you know, with, with the special about Bing is we can actually give you information about the future. So here we give you something like, uh, something that's called a fare predictor. If I click on that, it says, you know, we, we anticipate the fares to rise in the future. I click on that and I take you to our, uh, our travel page. Not only am I telling you that fares are going to rise, I'm also showing you what, what's happened to the fares before. So now let's just say that you want to fly on that Wednesday, you click here, and we're actually going to build you a prediction for that day. Here we're saying we have 80% confidence that actually the fares are going to either stay the same or they're going to rise. So you know what we're telling you is you should buy right now. And that's like a decision that you want to know about. You know, that's, that's going to help you make a decision instead of waiting. Versus the typical flights from Seattle to Las Vegas, well here's some travel sites that yeah. you can, okay. Exactly, exactly. You know you know what the price is, you know what you know. airlines are flying, but that really doesn't give you any information for you to make a decision right. whether you should wait or where you should buy right now. Okay. Let me show you another one real quick um, regarding travel. So if I look for room, uh, cheap rooms in Vegas, for instance. And so you're using the actual natural search terms as well as opposed to like power, yeah. power searches. Exactly. I'm, I'm trying to be as sort of humane as possible about the language that I use here. Right. So, so here, I, I, I pulled up some hotels in Las Vegas. You know, you have some five-star hotels, four-star hotels, but let's click here. And Hard Rock is the first one, and it tells me that I'm going to have a $90, a, a $90 per night on this weekend. You know, what you really want to know, though, is, is that a good deal, is that a bad deal? You know, right. like you might, you, you might go next month, you know, you don't care. So if I click here, what Bing tells you, Oh. through this prediction actually that these are the future prices that are going to happen and the one that you we just you just saw right here that's a great deal that's okay. the that's the uh, that's probably the lowest price you're going to get you know and i could presumably say that that's probably super bowl that's probably march madness but right. you know you don't know that we're supposed to know that and we're supposed to tell you and that's just another way that bing sort of helps you make decisions when you're making your travel plans okay so now let me show you a couple things about um about some products you know, a lot of times, you know, things like, let's say, laptops and cell phones, you know, they're, they're tough to just, our price, preferences and tastes are really tough to describe in words. You know, I want a smartphone, it's a flip phone, and what does that mean? You know, mm -hmm. what do I really want? And it's really tough to get your mind around that. Well, let me show you. If I type, for, type in cell phones here, Bing gives you something called visualization or visual search. You know, instead of you typing in a bunch of searches and going in and, and doing your own research, right. why don't I just click here, and Bing gives you visual images of all the new cell phones out there. You know, and now I can start sort of visually scanning what kind of a phone I might like. I, I already know that I don't like that red one. I might like that one that's over there. And I, can, I have some great ways that I can hear. I can, uh, I can um, narrow down my searches. I happen to know that my contract price has to be 200 or less. So I'm just going to narrow that down and see what happens. Being automatically, you know, does the visual um, right. elimination. You know, let's say that I want to eliminate it to AT&T alone. Now I have a sort of a manageable visual sample of what I want to do. You know, from here I can, I can easily figure out what kind of phone I might want to look at. And now let's just say that um, the Nokia Surge looks pretty good to me. Right. I can now click on it, and now I can get in here and get all the reviews, get all the shopping, get all the, all the great information that a great search engine can give you. You know, so that's, that's one of those things that I never might have gotten here, you know, if I just kept typing searches in over right. and over again. So now let me show you one last thing, which is the Bing map. So we're in Vegas here, so let me show you a couple things that we can do in Vegas. Um, Actually, I don't even have to type in anything. I can just type. I, I can just click maps, and Bing automatically knows that we're in Vegas based on the uh, the IP lookups. Nice. Um, 
And what we have is we have some great technology called Silverlight. So Silverlight brings the, uh, the mapping experience together very, very well. So if I start zooming in, and I zoom in close enough, first you'll see the, uh, the landscape change mm -hmm. to a 3D imagery. And if I, if I go in closer still, it, it tra changes into real uh, photos and images of the world. So this is something that we call bird's eye view. Okay. Um, and I can zoom around and I, I can look at the world in a very sort of coherent fashion. Now, let me show you uh, just, you know, getting out of Vegas for a little bit. I'll, I'll, uh, let's just say you and I agree to meet in my favorite pub in Seattle, which happens okay. to be called Six Arms. So I'll, I'll type that in. We're going to fly over to Seattle. Where's my? Oh, there it is. There's my pub, okay. and and we just introduced a new cool feature called uh, Street View. So let's just say if we, if we agreed to meet at Six Arms, you might want to you know take a look and see what you're where you're supposed to go. If I click on Street Side, I dive right in, and I show you exactly what you should see. Okay. I can go around the corner. I can look at it from different oh, wow. angles. And, and again, Silverlight gives you a really nice experience in terms of, you know, looking at this thing from, from different angles. Mm -hmm. um, and one last thing that we have is something called Bing Maps. Uh, I'm sorry, Bing Apps. <laughs> it's like a Verizon AT&T commercial. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if I zoom back out, I can look at something called Photosend. Photosend is something that uh, is an app. Um, it's something... Um, where you know tourists and people who like to take pictures can basically take pictures and upload them directly into Bing, and uh, and those and Bing then basically stitches all those images together in a nice coherent fashion. So uh, here's a demolished building in Seattle, for instance. So I can click on that, and I can dive in. And someone took these pictures in Seattle. and the software automatically knows how to stitch those images together. Let me show you another one. So these people just upload, take a bunch of pictures, yeah. upload them all, and Bing actually figures out exactly without the user having to do any of it. Right, the user just has to basically upload the, upload, up, upload the photos and tell Bing what the coordinates are so Bing knows where to place okay. them, or the address, or the GP, or the, uh, the longitude and latitude. You know, somebody even took, you know, pictures of, I don't know, just people. <laughs> Someone took pictures of their view of their apartment. Someone took pictures of the Smith Tower or Columbia Center right. observation deck. And I can dive right in. And so this is the waterfront in Seattle. And all these images are stitched together nicely. And I can zoom right in and take a look. Uh, so, there's a couple different things, and if you, if you go in, on, in Bing Maps, there are other applications such as Twitter, something called Twitter Maps. So these are all people twittering or tweeting inside Seattle. So I can now look on a map and say, you know, if I want to figure out maybe what's going on in Seattle, if there's a fair or something, right. I can look at clusters of tweets in Seattle. For instance, here. You know, Carnitos is a lobby at a bar. You know, whatever people do on uh, on Twitter. Right. So that's just another way that uh, that Bing adds sort of value and adds texture into the map. Hundred most recent tweets in the area. Just, just oh yeah. Far. Very nice. And uh, so it's it's definitely neat. And I'll, I'll show you for the one last thing. Let's go back to Six Arms, and you can even if I dive back into Street Side. Someone even created an app to show how what it would uh, what it would look like if it actually snowed in Seattle again. There it is. We're all going to pray that that never happens again because it was a disaster to you. Yes, it ago. was. Yes, it was. Very nice. <laughs> so I think so, that's the tour. Um, how, uh, can people get a hold of these features right now? Yeah. All you have to do is go to uh, bing.com and start from here. You can get your travel, you can get your visual search, you can get all your maps, and you can just start querying away. Just ask Bing something and Bing should hopefully respond in a meaningful, neat, and, and fun way. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for showing us uh, Bing here at CES 2010. Yeah, absolutely.